suicides among young people are going up. And I have a little bit of background on that weird pedo movie. This is the end of hour one. It is Friday, September 11th, 2020. I am James Hake. Stay tuned for hour two. Jesse Lee Peterson will be right back. It is 6.55 a.m. here in Los Angeles. The Fallen State episode is out noon today, Pacific time. Go to thefallenstate.tv. Jesse Lee Peterson interviewed a interesting person. Church with Jesse Lee Peterson, of course, is this Sunday, 11 a.m. Pacific Time, rebuildingtheman.com slash church. Make sure you're subscribed to Bond Rebuilding the Man YouTube channel, guys, and ring the bell so that you get notifications. Suicide among kids, as in children, and young adults are soaring, according to Drudge and Bloomberg, far-left Bloomberg so-called news. Increasing numbers of American children and young adults died by suicide over recent years. Among youth ages 10 to 24, suicides increased by 57% from 2007 to 2018. Data released Thursday by the National Center for Health Statistics shows rising from almost 7 per 100,000 population uh, to nearly 11 per 100,000 people. Comparing three-year averages from 2007 to 2009 to the t- same time period between t- 2016 and 2018, that brought an increase down to 47%, 47%, which is huge still. The U.S. suicide rate among all age groups was on average 14 per 100,000. Rural areas were the worst with Alaska at 31.4 u- young suicides per 100,000 in the population. Northeast states had the lowest rate, but New Jersey experienced a 39% rise, New York, 44% rise, and Massachusetts, 64% rise in suicides. Rates more than doubled in New Hampshire, and the majority of rate of states showed an increase between 30% and 60% in suicides. There are increases in serious so-called psychological distress, major depression, and suicidal thoughts and attempts of suicide among youth. A survey by the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, found more than a quarter of young adults reported having seriously considered suicide in the 30 days before completing a June 24th to 30th questionnaire. Anxiety is high in the population as a whole. This is a quote from some expert, right? Thanks to political and social unrest, Children are not immune from these stressors, said Shannon Monat, co-director of the Policy, Place, and Population Health Lab at Syracuse University, who she especially noted economic stressors. She doesn't know what she's talking about. About that weird pedophile movie, Drudge reports facing backlash, Netflix defends cuties as social commentary against sexualizing young girls even though it sexualizes the young girls. (laughs) Revolver headline, Someone needs to go to jail for this. Americans rage as Netflix promotes pedophilia and hashtag cancel Netflix trended number one on on Twitter. I think that was yesterday. Variety reports that Netflix amid a backlash over the sexualized portrayal of children in recently, recently released drama, comedy drama, I think, Cuties is encouraging critics to watch the movie. Oh, okay. Which it says makes a statement about pressures young girls face in conforming to societal roles, models of female sexuality. The movie is rated TVMA for language. (laughs) It centers on Amy, an 11-year-old Senegalese Muslim girl living in Paris, France, who joins a free-spirited dance clique called the Cuties, to rebel against what she perceives as her family's oppressive mores. Her mother's Muslim. The girl doesn't listen to her father or something. After its September 9th release a couple of days ago on Netflix, Cuties has elicited outrage for showing the girls showing performing highly disgusting sexualized dance routines. If you watched Tucker Carlson, you'll know what I'm talking about. And depicting the characters in other sexual situations. It was written by a Senegalese French black female, 35, and she won an award at Sundance 2019. I'm James Hake.